Hey guys, Hoy Archer here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of bowls that I've been making. Uh, these bowls are kind of a... Uh, yeah, they're actually really different from what I normally do. Uh, well, anyway, uh, start from the beginning. I got a request from a man here on the island who wanted to have three um, PVC bowls made for um, his three sons. Uh, normally that really is nothing unique but um, the unique part about this is his three sons are the ages six five and three so I've actually never made a bowl for anyone pretty much under the age of ten um, so you know I was figured out you know I'd give it a shot and see what how, how to how to build a bowl like that so for me the bowl building part itself really wasn't that bad what I took what I did was I took their um their all of their heights which all of them were under four feet which uh, brought me to a dilemma here even at the smallest PVC pipe um, diameter of a half an inch diameter by me building the bowl so short um, what would happen is the draw weight on that would be pretty much pretty much high especially for a um, six five and three year old so I was trying to figure out a way to get um, the bowl to function for and, and function and let them have a good time using it at the same time you know what I mean right um, so basically what I came up with was the string um, was using was modifying the string to use 10 inch bungee cords so what I did was after I framed out the bowl which is right here as you can see this I took the bungee crimped out the these hooks you know, made them into like a real tight circle and then some extra um, parachute cord which is what I had you can use rope or anything else um, and tie it off on the end so you, you tie it to the hook and then you make a loop on the end and this is what's going to hook onto the bowl. Uh, the only thing you need to do is figure out when you stretch the when you stretch the bungee how much rope to put on each end of the bowl and that's going to differ from bowl to bowl depending on who you who you're building it for um, what what's the size of the person you're building for. Uh, and as you can see here is this is a key thing that I found out with these bungees is you do not want to stretch them out to the point where they're so tight that they have no flex in them you kind of want to have it stretched out but enough that there's a, there's a there's still some elastic to it where it's easy for you to for, for you to pull because if once you stretch it out this way and you try to pull it it's, it's basically like you're pulling a bowstring and that's kind of defeating the purpose of using this so as you can see here I got this Hold on so as you can see here, the bungee is not totally stretched out, but it's stretched enough and centered on the bowl to where when I put the extra the piece, piece of um, parachute cord here, I hooked it on, it, it'll hook on and balance out nicely on the bowl. Uh, another thing that I did, which you don't need to do, but I did it just for kind of like safety, is I put a piece of heat shrink tubing over the metal, the metal hook part, just to, you know, in case the kid ever grabs it or anything doesn't cut their hand up and see as you can see there see so now the bowl pulls and you know as most of you know how a bowl actually works is a lot of the the energy is stored in the limbs so by putting the bungee on all I did was frame out the limb to stay that way there was a pretty cool thing that I found out while I was building this bowl is that when you even though as short as this bowl is when it's drawn, as you can see here, this is kind of about as far as that bungee will let it go. But if you give it a little bit of overdraw, the limbs do flex. So which gave me another idea of um, when this child gets a little bit older or, you know, or, or actually starts retaining the muscle memory of hold, draw, pull, release. And that muscle memory starts, starts getting into play and this becomes too weak for them. What I did was I cut an extra piece of, uh, this is parachute cord, but you can use any kind of rope to make a bowstring for this bow. Which I find pretty interesting because this bow still functions. Uh, when I put this on the scale, it came out to 8 pounds at 11 inches with this rope. Um, 
for some reason I'm not sure if it's just because it's the bungee but the bungee doesn't really um, show how much pounds um, it doesn't register on my scale and I don't know if it's just because it's, there's it's not actually pulling the weight from the limb or what but if I have to guess I'm saying maybe this is maybe about three to five pounds on the just the bungee line alone so anyway as they get older they can re remove that take the string off the bottom of this bow here that's going to be tied on and put this on now the bow won't get a better draw um, I mean the um, the draw length more than likely won't will be shorter but at least you know they can still pull the bow and shoot it so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this for you guys and you guys give me some comments on it see if you know this is something interesting that you guys might want to try to build So today I'm going to be shooting into a cardboard box, uh, mainly because that's what most normal people shoot into, um, especially if they're not getting fully into archery. Just something that everybody has, and to me, if uh, if this little bow can at least make a, a cheap dull um, arrow, at least at least stick into the box, you know, then I, I know that the the kid will have some fun shooting it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and shoot it with the regular string on and then change it back out to the bungee so you guys can see what it looks like. That actually is pretty good. I'm standing maybe about 10 feet away from the target. And I will switch this guy out to the bungee cord. And wooden doll arrow. And as you can see there, that pretty much stuck the whole tip of the the head here into this piece of cardboard. Oh, and by the way, these these arrow tips are are coated with. Um, JB Weld, uh, I believe it was David Sovoya, I think, I'm sorry for saying your name wrong buddy, but yeah, it was from his channel showing that you can do this to kind of harden the tip. And with the other rope, I got this much penetration with my regular carbon arrow. So you know, at least I know it'll stick into a cardboard box and the kids should have fun shooting it. Um, and that's pretty much it. So. These are the bowls right here. This is for the five-year-old. This is for the six-year-old. And this bowl right here is for the three-year-old. So they all shoot very nicely, um, especially for little lightweight bowls is what they are. But the bungee is what I found out to be the key for um, allowing extremely young um, soon to be good archers you know to get them to start <laughs> young I guess <laughs> anyway well you guys have any questions comments about these bowls y'all know where to leave them and I'll check you guys out later